topics and issues of my research are organized around social policy along the whole life cycle, cooperative economics and um, theory and design management and methods of mixed methods of qualitative social research. I'm now at the age of 63 years and I'm here as a member of the faculty since the year 1998. You must know that I come from the working class in the situation of a family of income poverty and over debt burden and some other aspects of precarious family and therefore you can understand my preference for question of social inequality and social exclusion. I studied a long time ago social sciences at the University of Bochum. Bochum is a town, a city in the middle of the urban agglomeration called Ruhrgebiet. And social science was um, an integrative uh, study program of interdisciplinarity about social problems, including sociology, political science, psychology, anthropology, and so on. And that's the profile. It was embodied in my um, personality and I teaching and researching about these different um, areas, social policy and so on, from the perspective of a high degree of interdisciplinarity. I think my idea is to make a value-driven social research. Empirical results are that they can't speak to us only in the, from the perspective of a normative predictive reference system. You can understand the relevance, the meanings of empirical subjects, uh, empirical results, sorry. And uh, so, therefore, that's my idea a value driven um, research as a contribution to our democracy. Personhood means the individuality of the individuals but by cultural embeddedness and social connectedness, because that is a precondition of quality of life, to be an integrated member of communities, but individualities. And therefore, my most important point I put my emphasis on is the ethics of successfully living together. And therefore, the criteria to understand personhood is the inherent dignity of human nature you can read it in the United Nations Convention about uh, fundamental human right. Dignity is inherent, it's part of human nature. And dignity can be defined by three dimensions. It's self-definition, autonomy, relative autonomy, because we are in social relationships. Um, the second point is self-management, the freedom to do it by myself. Um, and Participation. Participation means included, to be included into community, the idea of inclusion, participation in the communities. And you will find it's not only my private values, it's in accordance with our legal regimes and uh, very close to our constitutional order. And personhood is much more than an isolated individual. When you look into the convention about the human rights of children, you find a wonderful sentence that we need families at an atmosphere of love, trust, empathy, transparency and happiness. Because, and you can read it in the U European Charter of the uh, basic uh, social rights of the citizenship, children have a basic right of environments of successfully growing up because of transaction between environments and the personality. And that is a wonderful story about freedom as the final goal of social policy. And that is the value structure of the heritage of the French Revolution, freedom, equality of opportunities and solidarity. But you must read the story from the end to the starting point. Solidarity is a precondition of equality of opportunities, only for opportunities, not of the final outcomes, welfareism. And that is a precondition for freedom. The final goal of social policy is freedom for all. At the same time, at the same space for all. In an order of peace. Without peace, you can't be free.
I think I expect students with high motivation to be interesting into science, not only interesting into a good job and um, earning good money after leaving the university. Uh, this uh, primary motivation is very important because then you have much more uh, fun in the teaching. Um, I'm very happy about my uh, budget as professor in my chair because I have uh, a budget, for example, to finance a lot of books. I am falling in love to write books. I've approximately published 100 books and 300 um, articles and there's a high degree of um, uh, resources the faculty uh, offers me to realize my publication um, strategic program. And that's uh, because there's an interdependence between teaching and researching. Uh, Research-based and research-oriented teaching and therefore it's very important um, to have resources to uh, realize all what I want to do here. I'm happy about the reputation of my faculty and the culture of reciprocal respect and appreciation of different academic profiles. For example, my institute is placed number one in the ranking of research uh, and placed number 50 worldwide. And um, the whole faculty is, uh, has a high degree of reputation. I think the possibility to realize the high degree of interdisciplinarity and the high degree of freedom uh, regarded or towards the contents of my teaching. Because it's our constitutional order, it's a public university, the freedom of teaching and research. This high degree of autonomy uh, is a little bit during the last time in conflict with a pressure of bureaucracy and um, a very intensive role of management and like a, it's a metaf uh, the university as a machine of um, generating money and um, this this positive is a little bit stressful in relation to the autonomy and it's a real pressure perhaps it's it's a question of my generation, yeah. and it's not the same socialization of my academic career and now the younger generation uh, following us. Um, therefore, I think it's a very private answer. Um, perhaps it's part of my experience of aging. You must see some problems. We must speak about it. Um, and we are here since 1998 and now we have a radical um, intergenerational change and I am um, participating into the Dean's office since 15 years and I obtain and um, are able to observe the uh, cultural change and we are on a good way but we must invest not only into research and into teaching, we have to invest some resources in the development of our culture as a social system because science and the successful science is integrated in the social service system. And um, they are a new generation with new profiles and, they, and that is the story of old men. When you want to realize the joke from myself, um, the perspective of an aging professor, um, we must Remember that the public university, in the case of Germany, is a collective self-governance organization. And we have to put time not only in research and teaching, also in living our um, culture of working together in a faculty. And that's very important in the long run from the as aspect of cultural sustainability.